Hey everybody, this is going to be a quick video, hopefully, um, just a kind of tips video on how to install drawer handles similar to this one. Actually, quite a few different variations of drawer handles this could uh, apply to. Um, I think as long as they're symmetrical, it should work for that, in theory. So I got some drawers here. Got to install some handles on them and I thought I'd just make a quick reference video. That way in the future if you ever need to come back and reference this video you don't have to sit through one of my whole entire projects just to get this couple minute segment of it. So enough talking, let's get into it. Alright so here we go. I got tape laid out on all four corners and then just a piece in the middle. That's just so when I go to make some pencil marks that I don't have to sand the panel down. Um, I can just pull the tape and it's all clean and good. So that out of the way, we're gonna take our handle, our drawer pull, and we're gonna put it on this top edge and then slide it over until this inside edge hits the outside of the face. So then we'll go to this outside edge and we'll make a mark right there. Okay, so what that's doing is for instance, uh, if we flip it over like this, we got the center of the hole and the center of the hole, and that's lining up right on that mark that we just drew. So instead, we're just taking that edge out because the distance between center of hole and center of the hole is the same distance between the inside of this side and the outside of this side. So we're just making it easier like that. All right, so again, line it up here, bring it over, until it grabs the edge of the, the face and then just make a mark on this outside. We're going to do that on all four corners. I'm just going to mark those again with a red sharpie just so that they hopefully show up a little bit better on video. Alright, so I think you can see those. So now all we got to do is connect some dots. So we're going to take a straight edge, like this, okay, and we're just going to, like I said, start connecting some dots. So we're going to go this top corner down to the mark on this side. So we're going to line that up, and then across this middle piece of tape that you put down, just draw a line, okay? Then we're going to come over, we're going to go to this mark, top left mark, down to the bottom right corner. Okay, and we got that lined up. And again, we're just going to draw another line. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing going this way. So, top right corner bottom left mark. All right, and we're gonna cross this line. Now top right mark and bottom left corner. And we're gonna cross this line. So where these lines intersect each other, that's where we're gonna drill the holes. And you can see, I'll get a different angle on it, but that lines up perfectly. Okay? And it's also perfectly centered left to right as well as top to bottom. So if you think about it, it's kind of the same as finding the center of any square. So if we were to connect these two corners and draw a line, let's do that. And then connect the top right and the bottom left and draw another line. We know that to be the dead center of the panel, top and bottom, left and right. So now we're just offsetting, by offsetting the width of the hole spacing on the handle, by offsetting that on the corner, we've just moved this mark out half a handle to the right and then out half a handle to the left, if that makes any sense. Hopefully I'm explaining it well enough. But that's the basic theory behind it, so let's go ahead and drill these holes. 
It's also really helpful when you gotta drill a hole in a very precise location to use a drill bit with a tip on it. I'm not sure, I think this might be called a brad tip drill bit, but. We can pull our tape at this point. And then you can just feed the screws through the holes. And then attach the handle. And there you go. And last but not least, just pull the tape off. All right, there you go. Now, just move on to the next ones. All right, so one more quick point. Let's say that you've got this whole technique figured out on how to center a drawer handle within one drawer like this. Um, but what happens when you come across a larger drawer, for instance, this bottom drawer, that's this whole width, and you still want, let's say you want two handles, and you want these two handles to line up with the handles above it. Well. That's actually not too difficult. So let me take a piece of tape and we're gonna find this center line here and just kind of put the tape along there. So now if we wanna split this half and we want this handle to align with the ones above it, we're gonna, we're gonna take the center mark of these drawers above it and we're gonna act like that's our corner. And so we can make another one at at the bottom here and then all we would do is we would take another handle and we'd line up the inside face with that mark and then we can mark the outside face along here and it's going to be the same process all over again but basically you take that mark pretend it's the corner like above here on these other drawers and it's it's the same process all right so there you have it everybody just a quick video on how to perfectly center a door handle on a drawer face. I know this wasn't like one of my typical project videos, but I just came across this method and I thought that I'd share it with the rest of you guys. And maybe it's helpful for you guys as well. Stay tuned though, cause I should have this workbench build out video available in the next week or so. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. If you guys thought this tips video was helpful and you'd like to see some other tip videos, make sure to let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, hit that like button and share it around. <laughs> All the YouTube stuff. But until next time, thanks for watching.